r slash underscore hosts. Fearless Letterhead 3 says. Is it better to get little soap tube slash conditioner slash shampoo etc or just have a 500 milliliters one? Starting my first ebb in a few weeks and the options I have for bathroom supplies are. 1. A 500 milliliter pump action for soap, shampoo, conditioner that fits on a bracket on the wall. 2. Individual small size tubes for soap, shampoo, conditioners that would be replaced after each visit. What is best to use? Cost wise, I think the 500 milliliters ones might be better, rather than having new tubes for every stay. Thoughts? Undercover Federal says. My market is primarily 1 to 4 night stays, so originally we thought buying little soap tubes was the most cost efficient and the best. Which kinda was, however, I ordered those Econet shampoo slash conditioner slash soap from Amazon that are super cheap, and we would just leave them one set per day. It worked out fine, but we actually found a ton of people not using them, and finally someone was blunt with us, and told us they sucked. It was convenient for us, but if they suck then that's not what we want. We bought refill bags of Aveeno and another bag and now just refill 16 ounce bottles and it's actually cheaper. Reason being, everyone can use what they truly need, which is not much. So now we are saving tons of money, and giving really high quality shampoo slash conditioner slash soap which have given us a really positive response in our reviews. We just fill the bottles a little bit over halfway, to discourage anyone from filling up their own bottles completely. So refillable bottles all the way mo. The only disposables we give now are small tubes of Colgate. We still offer the tubes and leave them in the drawers in case anyone wants to use them, or doesn't trust the bottles for whatever reason, but I won't be buying more as they don't even lather well. Bel Air Ghetto says. Large. Small plastic tubes are very wasteful. The Doggo Face Voice says. We use locally made, organic, sustainably packaged shampoo bars and body soap bars. They have a custom brown paper label with a logo. Clients love them, and no plastic garbage. Puterid says. We use refillable pumps, that are mounted to the wall. It's also an environmental decision for us, and less work -lich. We have a refill station with organic 10 liter boxes for liquid soap and body slash hair wash. Financially there's no difference to small packages, but in terms of environment, and also quality the difference is huge, some guests ask us about where they can buy the products as they love them so much. We use I plus M Berlin for hotels, but I'm sure there's similar brands all over the globe. Burglar of 10,000 Turds says. I just put out a shampoo, conditioner, body wash and bars of soap from Costco. The first three have a pump and I just rinse them between guests so they are clean, and put out a new bar of soap between guests. No complaints. I like to chew on straws says. We don't use the individual ones. We have a simple human dispenser, that goes on the wall for shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Acrobatic Resident 76 says. I ordered a bunch of 32 ounce amber glass bottles W slash pumps from Amazon. I also found some nice oil rubbed bronze metal shelves that securely attach to the shower walls. I buy Pantene shampoo conditioner and Arle body wash at Costco. I use the same amber bottles all over the house, for, soft soap, hand soap, and, lubriderm, body lotion in the bathrooms, and, dawn, dish soap in the kitchen. Oh and one with hand sanitizer by the front door. We just refill everything at once, and you're good to go for the duration of a stay, which for us is 3 days, 3 weeks. In the long run, IDK if it's less expensive, but it is definitely prettier and more convenient for guests. It's also less mess slash clutter, less maintenance and so much better for us, than having to stock and restock small bottles, not knowing how much people might want or need. Hustlers says. I buy the small ones, because I find most people don't use it. My units are monthly, so I'm guessing most people bring their own. Sawdust in the wine says. 
I put a wall mounted dispenser in the shower and fill it up one a month from the big bottles. R slash ebb underscore hosts. Jala92126 says. I don't think removing a review removes the rating. I contacted Ebb support and requested that a review I had written about a guest be removed. Before the removal, her profile said 4.5. Rating from 6 reviews. After removing my review, in which I gave her 5 stars in all 3 categories, her profile now says 4.5. Rating from 5 reviews. If my 5 star rating had been removed along with the review, her new rating would be 4.4. Does anyone know if it works the same way when a host has ebb and remove a retaliatory review? Burglar of 10,000 Turd says. It's at the discretion of the ebb agent. Why did you request to have your 5 review removed? Because you didn't like the review that you got from the guest. R slash ebb underscore hosts. Let's Rem says. As a host with an Airbnb manager, how can I see activity in real time? Hi fellow hosts. This is an embarrassing question, that obviously I should have checked slash sorted from the start with our property manager, who has been handling things for us for about 9 months. For a period we are living in another country. The manager has been handling things very well, but we currently have a few issues regarding booking transparency. I've only been checking on the Airbnb public site to monitor bookings. But surely I should have access to the full booking picture, including historic, independent of the manager. I do not want or need any kind of modification rights, just pure monitoring. Is it possible for me to set this up direct through Airbnb, or do I need to arrange it with my manager? Riam Glitch says. How do you not have access to the back end of your own hosting BNB account? Advanced Stan says. Depending on which property management software the company uses it should have an owner portal. I would ask to be added to that. r slash ebb underscore hosts. Falb says. Guest does not answer and left belongings at the property. Hi everyone, I'm sorry for any English mistakes, not my first language. Here is the situation, guests booked my property for 2 months, and after 1 month said they had to go back home for some days, and would return shortly. Always super nice and very communicative. However they never returned. One week ago he told me they would come back for Easter, which did not happen. Since then he does not answer any messages and completely disappeared. Their luggage and belongings are all at my property and the booking ends this Friday. What should I do? Is there any procedure for removing someone's belongings? I'm worried something might have happened to him, not sure what to do. Thank you all in advance for your advice. Drive Chapter 389 says. Wait until the end of their paid, stay before taking any actions. You say they are paid up until next Friday. You might need to look up your options for dealing with a tenant's belongings, after they abandon a rental, in my state, a guest becomes a tenant at 30 days, and has certain rights, that would need to be observed. r slash ebb underscore hosts. Ok issue 4351 says. I have thoughts of bashing my guests head in with a brick. I have a really short temper for stupid. Guest break stuff and then blame me for it. They don't understand that they are renting a home like we did way back in the day. 20 years ago, I couldn't imagine going to a cabin owner and making up stories about how I fell because the driveway is uneven or how the bed just broke because I sat on it. Some guests really tempt me to get violent. Facebook underscore Twitter jail says. Seems like it's time for you to stop renting. Captain Obvious says. You might want to have a management company take care of guest communication and this kind of stuff. Anti Authoritarian 123 says. I'm not sure this is the business for you my friend. 
Peace always comes first. Don't look him X says. Are you Armin from White Lotus S1? Damien Napo says. Adder it's this guy again. For the safety of others, maybe stop doing SDR. Devon from Acme says. Checked your post history. There is something radically wrong with you. Get help. That's all for this video. Was it good? I know not for I'm a robot. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. This video is the product of an automated process.